you ever have one of those dirt, dirt, dirt moments where like, you're like, man, what am I going to say? I know I've said that before. Every time I, I get ready to go live and do a beer review, I'm always like, mm -hmm. oh man, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to say? Or dirt, 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 you trip over your words, but we're just going to get into it quite honestly. So happy Thursday, beer review night for 3CB, Three Crafty Bastards, and uh, found the basement, of course, right next to all the beer, uh, ready to bring you a beer review tonight. So I let the lady choose the beer today. It's cold outside. Hopefully everybody's staying warm. Uh, and she really get, put a little bit of thought into the beer that I, I'm going to do tonight. Uh, and I, she was like, should you do this? And I was like, ah, not yet. I want to wait for Mr. Classic, who's not here tonight, but he'll be back next week. <clears throat> so I said, you know what? Choose Teddy Bear Kisses. Because as you know, you've seen before, and I've showed you guys, I've even busted one on video, unfortunately. We got some teddy bear cases, and there's some variants. This is, uh, uh, they're all barrel-aged imperial stouts. This one's with peppermint and chocolate, or cacao, if, if you're that guy. Uh, this one with orange zest. Uh, this one is just straight cacao, so probably just chocolate. And then this one is their, their normal... Uh, barrel aged, nope, not barrel aged, Russian Imperial Stout, my bad. So, uh, Teddy Bear, or not Teddy Bear Kisses, Upland does quite a few different kinds of brews. Uh, they do IPA, they got a good Dragonfly IPA, they do, uh, what else? They do a tart, uh, they do sours, but we're not really here to talk about that. I mean, we're, we're going to try to keep this short and sweet tonight. So, of the Teddy Bear Kiss variants. I'm putting these away because if I drop these, I'm going to be heartbroken. <clears throat> the one that was chosen tonight is the Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stout with Cacao and Hazelnut. Check that guy out. Right? Nice uh, hazel nutty color. And also, hold on. I want to see here. I want to see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 1995. Yeah, 1995. So instead of the regular beer glass that I normally pour, I am doing beer beer review for you tonight in this 1995 uh, Batman Forever glass that was a collectible from McDonald's. This is an original one right here, guys. Hang on to this. So I'm going to do my beer review tonight in a Batman glass. Why not, right? Uh, so we're just going to get into it. What am I expecting? I'm expecting hazelnut. Uh, probably a very prominent hazelnut. Nice dark and thick texture because it is an imperial stout. It's ringing in at 10% if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. 11%. Uh, so it'll get you drunk, right? Uh, and I, I just didn't want to pour all of it because obviously I want to share. So I'm going to take the other half of this upstairs. But it's cold. It's stout season still. I know we're getting ready to get into some of the lighter stuff as far as beer seasons go. But this is a good one to knock out. So without further ado. There's a good head on that. Oh man. Oh man. Mm. So. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better than Teddy Bear Kisses, the Russian Imperial Stout, they do something like this. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever had this variant. And basically what we did is a couple of my buddies, we all got together, we traded off beer so we could all have, have one of each at least. This is divine. So it's got that... Mm, it's got that nice uh, imperial stout texture. You can get a little bit of the bourbon barrel age. It's not uh, really a prominent taste. I'd be really curious to know what bourbon barrels this was aged in. You get a little bit of that chocolate right after, and then right after, just real subtle, right at the end, that hazelnut, man. And that hazelnut is what sets it off, right? Mmm. Uh, very pleasing, very aromatic. 
Yeah, yeah, it's good, and it tastes even better in a 1995 Batman glass. So, if I had to rate this beer, I would definitely give this a 4.5. I give it a four and a half. Uh, it's delicious, man. It's the drinkability is one that you could have probably about two. Not because it's too sweet, not because uh, of any reason other than the fact that it is barrel aged. Uh, and, you know, 11%, man, you, you really want to be careful with those. But I would say you could have two, man. And, and if, if you're up for it, if you're that kind of guy, you could drink a third, you know. Uh, but drinkability is great. Texture is great. Uh, is it what it says it is? Yes, 100%. You get that barrel aged flavor followed by just a little hint of, of chocolate and then that that nice hazelnut finish, man. So very, very pleasing to the palate. Uh, I look forward to doing the other four teddy bear kisses or the other three variants that we have. But I'm trying to save some of that for myself and Mr. Classic so we can all kind of be in on it at once. Uh, so 4.5 on the rating. In true gladiator fashion, you already know. Man, I was going to give it the thumbs up anyway. It's Teddy Bear Kisses, man. It comes out one time a year, typically around November, December. You can kind of catch it in January, depending on whether or not it takes off and depending on where you buy your beer. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and plug because that was a nice short, short sweet beer review. Uh, buy this. If you see it, buy it. It's a little pricey. It's about, uh, I think, $17 for a four-pack, but it's an 11% 11 beer, so you're not going to drink all four in one sitting anyway, and if you do, you better call a cab. You better get somebody to take you home. Uh, so plug time. Check us out, Three Crafty Bastards. Of course, uh, you can catch us on Facebook. You can go to our Facebook page, man. I'm always doing beer reviews. We're always doing beer reviews and offering some thoughts about every other week. Uh, and then you can catch us on YouTube. I still need to upload some videos, but we have plenty of videos on YouTube that you can go back and you can watch some of our older beer reviews. Uh, and it's quite entertaining. I'll say that. Uh, man, new podcast out this week. Bruise and Views 1.1. Juan Cordero Jr., a.k.a. John Smith, a.k.a. Juan Cordero. Got us up. It's when the group reassembles, man. And that's what it's called. It's called Reassemble. So go check that out. That just came out today. Uh, and you can go to the Bruise and Views page and you can you can like that uh, and give that a listen. It was a rather lengthy podcast, but it was a great, and when I say great, I mean great. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a five. I'd give it a five all day long. Uh, conversation amongst friends that don't necessarily all get to get together at one, at one time. So it, it was fun to do. Uh, look forward to doing another one here soon. And uh, it, it was just a great time. Uh, also, check out Leo Mills, Austin Green, Pull Up, Pour Up podcast. Pull Up, Pour Up podcast that comes out on Mondays. Uh, typically releases around noon. I always share that on my page as well. So you can check my page out, B. Smith, and you can check out all these different uh, podcasts from everybody that we kind of work with uh, closely. And last but not least, Go ahead and check out uh, Josh Parker. It's funny because when Mr. Classic is sitting here, I can never remember his last name. I know two Joshes, Josh Parker, Josh Stores. And I always want to say Josh Stores, and it's not. It's Josh Parker, Unique Beats. He's releasing things all throughout the week. Uh, so you can check him out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Go to his page, Unique Beats. Uh, and they're always doing something a little different, man, but definitely worth checking out. Uh, last but not least, Teddy Bear Kisses. They get the shout out because that beer is just good, man. I, I, I don't, I don't know what I was expecting going into it. Like I, I, I feel like uh, I might have undersold it a little bit, but it's really good. So shout out to um, Upland for doing what they do. That's what's up. As always, stay safe, stay crafty, and cheers.